And even though I'm a fly fisherman, I do get a little bit impatient. So I may switch off of this shortly too. I like this long rod, even though it's a Euro rod, it actually throws the dry, dry line fairly well. Keeps me above the cattails. But I'm not feeling bad about not catching fish. We've had a number of people up from our Columbia Basin fly casters and we have not been doing well up here this year. All right, one more cast with this and I'm switching. That's right about where a fish was working. I like using a small indicator right now, but man, <laughs> given my age and my eyesight, it's getting harder to see it out there. Well, I've always thought with still water like this and low, low water that you don't want to, of course, you don't want to use a big indicator. It just spooks the fish. All right, you know what? Maybe scuds are not on the menu today, which is odd because they usually almost always are. So let's try a mini leech. You wonder how many fish there are, even the pelicans aren't eating a lot. They seem to be resting right now. Maybe they're trying to tell me something. All right, small brown mini leech. I've been seeing more leeches in uh, fish this year that I've caught in lakes. Irresistible. Oh, it was a good fish too. Yeah, he broke off. God, I hate it when I break off. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Right at the knot, too. <laughs> I think probably the number one feature is uh, that it stays, it's open during a time of year when you're not able to fish the lakes. So it's, I mean, I, I used to love coming up here. I'd come up here as long as it was uh, the water, the air temperature is at maybe 28 or, or, or more. Long, I just didn't want the, the uh, guides and the uh, rod to freeze up all the time. But it, you could come here in, in the winter time and, uh, and catch fish. It, and they were, they were big fish for many years. And I still see there's a lot of big fish in here. And then sometimes I'd come in the summer. I had, I've had a couple good days in the summer, acting, <laughs> strangely enough, fishing a hopper out here. I remember one day in particular when they had just planted fish and uh, on my, my first cast, I had one eat my indicator. So I uh, ran my, pushed my fly all the way up next to the indicator and caught two or three off of an indicator. I called it a skindicator. It had a scud with it, so I called it a skindicator. That was a really good day. I, I landed over 20 fish that day, which is uh, I'd have to say highly unusual. <laughs> Not only that, there were there were there were hardly there's hardly anybody up here that day either. Ooh 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 ooh! What's that? Come on! Ah, not just a weed. <laughs> Been up here without waders and uh, stepped in a muskrat hole. Uh, went all the way up, probably just about up to my waist one time. <laughs> that was. That was the end of the day fishing. I just calmly, sort of calmly, wasn't real happy about it, sort of calmly walked back to the truck, changed clothes and went home. That was it. I could swear that looks like an insect just hatched out there. Look, probably a piece of grass floating, but too early for calabatus, I think. It's still morning. I used to see them most of the time in the afternoon. What do you say we try moving somewhere else? I got my eye in another place, although the, 
The last time I was here and I left here, guy, <laughs> guy landed four fish right here. And I went down further and didn't touch a thing. Gonna be different today. A couple more, two, three, four more on the surface over here. All right, just for fun, I am going to put one on. Kind of a quiggly cripple version. Let's see if I can find what I want here. Yeah, not that, here we go. Not sure I've got a lot of confidence in this, but it is, as I said, it's worth a try. It's not like anything else was working well. And it's fun to see a fish come up on one of them. Yeah, it looks pretty close. All right, fish, I know you're not, I haven't seen you come up, but let's do it. Kind of almost looks like the same fish. <laughs> oh, he's hung up in the weeds. He's out, okay. Yeah, there's the weeds. Get off there, come on, get off there. Ah! See that? Well, starting to hook him at least. <laughs> It's all right. Give a chronomet a try here. All right, we're gonna get down to 5X. I probably should even go smaller, but that's, I always lose fish if I go smaller. I'll go easy on him. Uh, more weeds, no. No weeds. I wanna get him on the reel too if I can. Yep, he came off. <laughs> ah, 0 for 3. <laughs> no, no, I don't think he was hooked that well. A lot of times when they when they first grab it, you, you don't want to, and I didn't didn't hook didn't hook them, but you know I, I like to hold off and then hook them in a in a little bit at, a second or two afterwards. But he grabbed it too hard in the beginning. Yeah. Took me, oh, god darn thing took me right into the weeds. Gone again. <laughs> 0 for 4. Uh. Fish, but it was a fish. Oh, come on. That one just dove right into the weeds. I lifted up and that's all I could feel was weeds. Went right at him and he took it. Man, 0 for 5. Oh well. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I had one right there. That was a subtle take. Now 
Now hopefully we can land this one. Maybe. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That's six fish. I haven't landed one. <laughs> Boy, was that take subtle. I got one more potential spot and you won't see me land a fish. <laughs> okay.